Hey guys, welcome to another video and finally we have what we have been waiting for. Well, the reason that I'm saying this because this got Android 12 beta 4 port, this got Android 12 beta 4 port and the poor X3 Pro users were left behind. But worry not anymore, we have the Pixel 5 port based on Android 12 beta 4 available for the Poco X3 Pro. We will see what all other instructions and in this video, we're quickly going to see a step by step guide with download links of how to go about installing it. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded pe people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so Android 12 port available for this wonderful device. Brand Google Model Pixel 5, Android version 12, build ID beta 4, build date 23rd August 2021. Security patch 5th August 2021. Change log Google side stuff, search yourselves. And from this side, from the developer side, users should not face recovery stuck issue now. It has been tested. Quick tap fixed, but still random issues regarding this can be there. Okay. Fixed status bar padding, fixed adaptive sound, bugs, random glitches while using apps, UI blackout, and that is something that cannot be fixed or maybe it will be fixed later. Google side search option in setting crashes. So ignore that notification disappears in quick settings, full pull down. That's a Google error. Google now playing might kill Android hall randomly. So keep it off. So Google now playing, keep it off. Anyways, it is not such a important, important feature. Now moving on. It does say back up your important data before flashing the port. Use only this TWRP, the one which is linked in the description. This is the download link and credits to Oof Gang. Once again, this is their PayPal link. If you can go ahead and support them because they are doing an excellent job. Now, what do you need to take care of to flash this on your Poco X3 Pro? First things first, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to make sure that you have flashed the TWRP which is recommended and linked in the description. Now once you've taken care of that, make sure you have more than 50% battery on your Poco X3 Pro. No matter if you're coming from Xiaomi.eu, MIUI stable, stock or you're coming from a custom ROM, in our case we'll be flashing it from Derpfest. So make sure you've taken care of all of that. And the most important part which I always say make sure you've backed up everything on your phone's internal memory because everything is going to be wiped right now considering that you've taken care of all of those things you can go ahead and download the file directly to your phone's internal memory or you can you know download it to the pc and then copy it to your phone's internal memory in our case we are going to use this uh, otg pen drive which i use most of the time when flashing a poco x3 pro so here we go i have connected the device now you also need to ensure that you have removed all your lock screen passwords, your security stuff. For example, as you can see over here, I do have a screen lock. So I'll set this to swipe. Okay. So the lock screen face unlock fingerprint scanner is removed and you also need to go to accounts and remove all your Google accounts and everything else. So make sure you've removed everything. And once everything is done, you need to go to TWRP to be ready to flash it. So press and hold volume up and power to reach TWRP recovery. In our case, we have the advanced power menu thanks to Dubfest custom ROM. So we are booting into TWRP right now. All right, now remember before you proceed from this step onwards, you need to make sure you have backed up everything on your internal storage because we are going to lose everything. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik, data, 
and cache. We are not wiping internal storage because although I have the file on the pen drive, you might have it on your internal. And there is only one file that is needed. That is the ROM file linked in the description. Now, once you've wiped everything, you need to go to mount and you need to make sure that these partitions are not mounted. That is system, system, ext, product, vendor, and ODM. Otherwise, you might get an error while flashing this particular ROM. So now you can go to install and for me, it is on the OTG pen drive. So you need to locate the file wherever you've saved it. If you're downloading it directly to the phone, well, in that case, it will be in your download folder. But here it is Pixel 5 Beta 4 Android 12 Poco X3 Pro Zip. So select this, swipe to confirm flash. Now remember, this is only one file that we are flashing. Okay. For any further questions that you have related to DFE images, I would highly recommend you go to the group linked in the description and ask that question over there. Let's wait for the flashing to complete. All right, now, as you can look at the screen, the flashing has completed successfully. Now, you will get these four errors, so it's completely fine to ignore them. Now, remember, you don't have to reboot yet, so you go to the main screen, you go to wipe, you go to format data and type in yes. There we go. Okay. Once again, you will get these errors. Now between these errors, you just need to make sure you don't get any other errors apart from this. If these are the errors you're facing, it can be ignored and it's completely fine. So now we will reboot system. The first boot can take anywhere between one to two minutes. So please be patient while the first boot happens. And if you have an OTG connected like me, you can keep it connected or you can go ahead and disconnect it as well. Let's wait for the boot up and right away, as you can see, we have the Google boot animation, the dark one. That means we are going to enter Android 12. And hopefully tomorrow after I've used this ROM for like, I don't know, three to four hours, I will definitely go ahead and make an initial impressions video about it. Let's wait for the boot to complete. There you go. The boot was pretty quick and you do see it says speech services by Google keeps stopping. So ignore that. Android beta program. Okay. So now we will quickly skip through the setup part to show you that yes, we are indeed on Android 12. All right. So as you can see, we go to settings over here and we go to about phone. You see the Android version over here is Android 12. You do have your Android 12 Easter egg over here. There you go. So this is definitely Android 12 August security patch. And trust me, no matter what device I use Android 12 on, I really have high hopes from this ROM. If you want to install Gcam, you can go to the relevant group and ask a question or refer to the notes and you will be guided through the process to install Gcam. I'm going to set this device up and use it till tomorrow maybe and I'll give you a first impressions real real quick. This was a quick step by step guide with download links. Please like and share the video as much as you can. A lot of effort goes into making these videos and please subscribe because that is all we request. It doesn't cost you anything and it really really motivates me. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.